It's not so funny. It gets harder and harder to speak into this thing. Every day. Every day gets harder. My ability to have self-control is going away. Not because I'm doing anything, I just can't do... How do you say that? Not because I am doing things that I have no control over. It's because I'm doing nothing and I have no control over doing them. Like, <laughs> I mean, I've talked about this before. When, you're, when your depression goes deeper, you, um, you, become, you become paralyzed. Like, the only thing that keeps me going are my kids. Some people don't have that. Some people can't even get out of bed. Some people have kids and can't even get out of bed. I have to get out of bed for them. I have to go and do stuff for them. I still drive. It's funny, my um, my ADHD, I think, is, makes me move. I can't sit down. It's so frustrating. I mean, uh, it's frustrating because my ADHD keeps me moving. But I am enjoying nothing. <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's almost sad. It's not like, it's like it gets me out of bed because I have to wake up. If I didn't have to wake up, I wouldn't. It get, but it gets me out of bed and then I go outside to enjoy the sunshine and I can't enjoy the sunshine. And uh, it gets me out of bed to go to a fast food place to, to eat because I feel like the fill this need and it doesn't it doesn't fill the need I don't enjoy it I don't enjoy any of it I'll go to restaurants to talk to people I'll do my job and talk to people as a nurse and it's not fulfilling anything you know that's why it's like a a mental prison or a mental paralysis it's like my brain's not computing anything my body is moving, but my brain is not. It's just sinking um, deeper and deeper, and it, I'm so out of control, you know. My, my, my body is like slowing down, and I, I have no control over it. I'm like gaining weight, and I'm eating, or I'm not eating, or... I try to drink even to have something to do. <laughs> I'm not even drowning my sorrows with drinking. It's just something to do now. Um, that I don't even have the energy to do that sometimes. Like, some nights I'm just like, eh. Like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just that sad. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm so depressed some nights I can't even drink. <laughs> like, I can't even do that. Um, of course I, I laugh, uh, when I'm nervous or not being able to handle my life. I just laugh. It's my, uh, it's my, uh, reactionary, uh, coping mechanism or it's my habit. I don't know what it is. I'm not coping with anything right now. I just do it because I, it's straight out of habit. Um. I don't know. Like, any and all desire for sex is gone, you know? Anything like that. Dating, I mean, you can forget that. Everything in your life just goes. Everything good in your life. The only thing that takes me away are my kids. The only thing. And it's been getting hard with them. It really has. That is the worst part about all of this, is it's getting harder with them. Even while I'm with them, you know, not just leaving them. It's terrible when they leave me. But when I'm actually with them, it's starting to become difficult. I feel like I'm having to put those masks on or fake things, you know. Um, which I, I did before, but it's even harder to do it. It's getting harder to fake feeling happy and being happy because my kids are demanding it of me. And so I just suck it up and do it. Sometimes I find myself on these weekends, though, just because just of the night shift, you know, I find myself falling asleep during the day, even. 
on them and I feel terrible. It's like I'm present, but I'm not present, right? That's how it is with everything. It's like, yes, I'm in the room, but I'm not. And ADHD has a, a tendency to do that, too. It takes you away. So uh, that with the depression, it's like the ADHD is getting you doing stuff, or at least running away from things. <laughs> but then there's nothing there. It's like your body is there, but your mind is just gone. Um, that's been terrible. And I swing into this at night. I mean, maybe I need a different job, right? Maybe I need a day job. I don't know. But I have one job right now. Uh, and it's not enough. Typically, in order to pay for most of what I owe, probably 80% of what I owe, I have to have two jobs. If I get day jobs, it's just, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it'd be enough. It's not like I'd be outside very much, so that wouldn't... I mean, I'd be interacting with people, um, but... I don't know. That gives me all sorts of anxiety, too. I hate the constant fight in my head. I'm always doubting everything. My life, everything, all the time. I'm always at a war with myself. I'm always uh, getting hopeful for things and then dashing it or nothing changes or nothing good happens or changes or I can't make anything good happen or change anything in my life and, and I get just so tired of that uh, fight, that constant fight with myself. It's such a negative fight. It's just so hard to pull positive things and to hold on to positive things because there's always a voice in there that's saying that I'm not good enough ever or I can't succeed here or I can't do this there and and uh, it's just never ending. All day. All day long. Every day. The only time I don't think about anything is when I'm busy doing something else which is which is the problem. I'm trying to trying to get myself busy doing other things so that I don't think about this stuff, that I don't have to war with myself all of the time. But, uh... It's really hard when you're depressed. I'm moving in my body, but not in my mind. I'm just sitting there fighting with myself all of the time. Just feeling really sad and really lonely and really just, just terrible, absolutely terrible. Like it's physically having a an effect on me, like an, such a negative effect physically on me, and I'm seeing the change, and it's just, I just want to run away. But my kids are keeping me here. I can't run away from my kids. Maybe I'm running away from my brain. I don't know. I can't I can't handle any of this very well. <laughs> I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people do it w without drugs. I don't know how people do it if they can't afford drugs. I can't... I don't know how people do it if they can't afford to go someplace to exercise. It's not like I can get out of my house and go run, you know? Like, it's just... It's not... <laughs> you gotta have the, uh... You gotta have the motivation to do that. And if you don't have the motivation what you have, you know? I don't know. I feel like I, there's no options for me. I feel like I don't have a single good option in my life right now. There's always been a decent option. There's always been something I could do and I feel like there's nothing I have the energy or have the motivation or have the willingness to do. There's nothing that sounds exciting for me anymore. It's just, it's 
just nothing right now. Absolutely void.